these are Vince Camuto. Look at this print. And they're cow, 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 cow hair. So they have like the, the fur on them. Hi everybody, it's Nina Beach Rock Bargains. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm an online reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Amazon. If you are new, make sure to subscribe. I do haul videos, with sold videos, as well as tips and tricks. So today, can't see it, but I have this big box of inventory that I wanted to show you guys. Um, this is all from Brie, who I have done several videos on before of uh, the inventory she sends me, she sources for me and she also sells mystery boxes. So I'll link her Instagram and her Poshmark closet below. Um, she's been sourcing for me for almost about a year now. Um, so if you're interested in having someone source for you or looking for quality mystery boxes, um, I'll have her info below. But this box, um, usually I, I haven't done hauls of her stuff lately because it's just so much stuff. Um, but this one is a little smaller, so I figured I could do a video that wouldn't be an hour long. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. There's all kinds of stuff in here. There's tops, bottoms, shoes, purses, just a wide variety of things. So there's some really good stuff, but I'll save some of the good stuff for the end. And yes, I already looked through the whole box because I have no patience or self-control. And I get very excited when I get a package. So first off um, is this cute tank top. Um, and this is an Anthro brand. Diletta. Um, this is super cute. It's like a textured material. And this is a size small. I know I'm not throwing stuff on the floor. I have a bin down there to put everything in. Okay, next is this sweater yeah this sweater this is really cute what size is this uh this is a us4 and this is top shop there's the there's a tag for that um and this is new with tags too this would be perfect for fall i think it's kind of cropped and it's got the bell sleeves to it Okay, next, um, another anthro top um, postmark. This is really pretty. It's like an off the shoulder, roughly floral print. This is like really bright. Um, this is the postmark tag. It looks like a little stamp. Postmark is one of my favorite anthro brands to wear and to sell. It's always like a solid $25, no problem. Okay. Next is a bodysuit, um, and the brand is Nasty Gal, which is like one of my favorite brands just to find. I don't know, their, their clothing is just so cute and trendy. I'm gonna try this on because it is a size six. Um, it's got like the strappy detailing. That's the tag. Nasty Gal isn't like the most expensive brand. I'm just not going to focus. But it is really trendy um, pieces. So they definitely have decent resale to them. Okay. Next is, pretty sure this is for you people. I was wrong. Um, Altered State, which a lot of their pieces kind of look like free people pieces anyways. It's a really cute white printed tank top with the tie neck detailing. You see the print? It's really pretty. And it's got like lace detailing on the front. Um, Altered State is also a brand that whenever I listen I'm Altered State I get a lot of likes. I'm just a lot of tension on it. It's definitely a trendy. And there's the tag. Okay, next, this one's free people, I swear. Yeah, okay. Um, is this free people swing dress? I can't remember what these are called. The trapeze dress, I think. I don't know. I've sold 
a couple of these in different colors um, before. Which is pretty floral print. It's roughly at the bottom. Um, this is Infinitely Free People. There's a tag on that one, and this is a extra small. But all the Free People stuff is pretty oversized. I think I have the same one in a different color. And of course, I buried it in the box somewhere. Okay, next is another Free People top. I think it's the top, yeah. Again, just like a boho print with the bell sleeves. Um, and then ruffly bottom and keyhole back. It's really pretty like mint color. Um, this is just a typical metallic bronze, gold, whatever, free people tag. Okay. Another free people item. Okay, this is a little, yeah, this is a top. Or is this a romper? Surprise, it's a romper. <laughs> okay, next is this free people romper. It's really pretty floral. Um, just a pretty simple romper, but it does have like a pretty open back to it like open sides. I guess you would wear something underneath this probably, like a sh you'd have to wear a shirt, hopefully. Here's a tag again. This is an extra small. That's why I thought it was a shirt because of how small it is. Okay, we'll get to some of the good stuff. This is just on top and it's just bothering me so I have to show you. This is a purse and it is a long chair. This is a brand I have never picked up. Um, I've never been able to find this. So I was really excited when this came in the box. That's what the logo looks like on the front. And it's just this little striped tote, like nautical with the red leather straps. It seems like it's in pretty good condition too. When I saw this, I was very excited. But we're selling a lot more um, purses and shoes because they tend to have a higher resale value. So I was excited to see those, see that purse. There's some really cool shoes in here too. I think they're, they're buried, but I'll get to them. Next uh, is another free people top. This is, this is really cute. And this is good for fall too. Cause it's like a sweatery material, really pretty print. And then it's got a little fringe detail at the bottom. This is a trend that I love. Again, just the regular metallic -y free people top. Look at that fringe though. That's perfect for fall. Okay, um, and next is this top. I feel like this is linen. Just kidding, it's cotton. You swear after doing this for so many years, you'd be able to tell materials, but I still get it wrong sometimes. It feels like linen though. Just this like oversized stripe top. Um, and the brand is blue and gray, size XL. Blue and gray is another brand that I have an easy time reselling. It's not gonna go for like, you know, $40, but it's an easy $20, $25 almost every time. Okay, next. This is cute. I like to look through the box, but I just didn't actually look at the items. I just looked at all the tags and got excited about the brand. So I'm actually seeing the items <laughs> for what they are now. They're all so cute. Um, this top, it's got cold shoulders and ruffles. It's this really pretty color. I don't know how to describe this color, but super pretty. And the brand is Lavender Field, which is an anthro brand. Um, again, this is a I've only had this brand a couple of times and every time I think it's from Brie, but all their pieces are really pretty. Next, another anthro item, moth. Um, pretty sure this is a, this has to be a dress. It's this like cream sweater. And look at the sleeves. Look at these sleeves. She's like this little sweater dress the cutest sleeves ever. Um, 
this is a tag for moth. It's just the little moth logo and the red dot. Moth is another great anthro brand. Okay. This is a long one. All right, next is another free people item. Okay, this is a dress. It's like, this is really boho. Dress, like a fit and flare, and it has um, a little belt on the waist. This is a different free people tag. It's the cloth version of the tag. This is free people. This is like heavy duty. Okay, I think, all right, let's do another pair of shoes. Let's start on the top here. All right, these are so cute. And they're too big for me, thank God, so I cannot keep them. Um, it's these little like heeled sandals. Look at the print, it's really pretty. And this is Nine West. Um, Nine West is like hit or miss pickup. Um, it just really depends on the item, but like these are obviously really pretty and they look like they're, I mean, they look like they've never been worn, I would say. They have no wear to them, like a logo or anything. Um, and if they're trendy, I'll definitely get them. So these are really cute. They're a nine and a half, so I can't keep them, but. Definitely will go to a good home. Okay. I'm saving those for last because they are hands on the best thing in this box. And I think one of the coolest things <laughs> I'll ever sell just because of what they look like. So I'll set those to the side. All right. All right, we have some active wear and some jeans as well. Um, so first we just have a pair of like just plain black leggings, crop leggings, um, but these are Fabletics. Uh, this is what the Fabletics little logo looks like. It's just like a little F, come on focus. There it is. So just a little F. Um, Fabletics doesn't have the highest resale. It's, you know, usually leggings I can sell for 20 to $30 depending on the item, but they always go so quickly. Like whenever I list Fabletics, I get likes or offers, watchers, all that, like within a day or two. Usually I can sell Fabletics within a week. I think they kind of have like a, what I would call like a cold following. People really, really like Fabletics and will only wear Fabletics. All right, here's another pair of Fabletics leggings. These are this really pretty blue color and there's the logo um, a lot of times the tag will be cut out of these because like a, it's like a long tag kind of like little lemons tag so most people cut it out um, but you can go off the measurements on the website to figure out the sizing these are full length and their sizing is like small medium large whatever so it's a little easier to estimate than like two four six or like little lemon does speak of the devil here comes little lemon um, it's just a pair of leggings, little top. There's the Lulu symbol. They have like the slit in the back here. Here's, here's my favorite symbol in the world. <laughs> All right. Some more active wear, but this is the top this time. Um, just like this like mesh panel top. And the brand is Ivy Park, which is Beyonce's line, which is like pretty expensive. <laughs> it says Ivy Park. And then it says it, I think it says it on the outside too, yeah. It says it on the back of the shirt. This is Ivy Park. I've never sold Ivy Park before, but I'm excited because it is Beyonce's line, so it will have resale value. All right, next is another pair of leggings, and these are Torrid Active. Um, I didn't really know Torrid had an active line, but everything Torrid moves like that in my closet. Everything Torrid always, it sells within like 
a week at most. And it always gets so many likes. So I'm very excited to see their active wear as well. These are just like this metallic -y green gold color. Um, and these are, I would say they're cropped. Yeah, they're definitely cropped and they have like the um, strappy back detailing here. These are really cute and they're double zero. So that's exciting. I'm going to look for tour with active wear now. All right. Next is these teeny tiny Lululemon high rise shorts. There's a logo on the back. And we'll have to look up exactly what style these are, but they're definitely high waisted and the print is really cute. All right. Next, we have a pair of jeans. Um, these are Hudson jeans, which is a great brand for resell. And these are the Krista Super Skinny. That's what these look like. They're a light wash. And then they have the raw hem at the bottom. Skinny jeans with the raw hem. Great for reselling. And these are a size 27. And there's the tag for Hudson. Um, another easy way to spot them is they have like the flag tag on the back pocket. And they always have um, this little button here on the front as well. Okay. We have a whole bunch of more tops as well and some more shoes. Okay, next is a J. Crew top. It's just this white and blue color, peplum style tank top. And the back is just solid gray. Um, and this is a size extra small. There's the J. Crew tag. J. Crew again is like bread and butter. It's just so easy to sell for $20 to $30. Okay, next is this top. Um, it's like a sweater material. It's more like a gold, but it's not showing up. That shows up a little better. It's got this really pretty stitching here on the side. It's really metallic. Um, it's just like a sweater tank top. And this is White House Black Market. I know a lot of people pass on this brand, but if it's newer items or if it's new with tags, it's a cute style. It does really well. Um, it's a really great career brand. Um, it's not something that, you know, a lot of like 20 year old college students will be buying, but you have to keep in mind that that's not the only buyer that exists, right? Um, I've had good luck reselling it for a decent amount, especially when it's newer, trend, newer and cuter like career pieces. So that is the tag. Okay. Next is another Diletta top. Um, this is a medium. It's a pretty simple like t-shirt but it's got this really cool knotting detail on the left sleeve like a little oversized and it's like orangey color. Um, and here is the Diletta tag again. This is different than the first one. This one's like embroidered like stitched in. Okay. Next I feel like every Antho brand I see, I'm like, this is my favorite Antho brand to sell. Um, but a lot of them sell well, so I'm not lying. Um, this is a Kimmy and Kin, which this brand does tend to do really well resell wise. Um, and this is a large, again, a really pretty pattern, purple and white top. I've got the bat wing sleeve to it, a little tie on it. And here is the tag. It's a little folded up. It needs steamed. Let's see if I can show it. There is the tag for that. I sold this brand several times and it does well. Next is. I swear, um, like the whole cold shoulder trend. Always makes it so difficult to find like where is the neck in the shirt. All right, next is 
ankle shoulder top. This print is beautiful. Um, it's got a long sleeves, with the cold shoulder right there, um, and a high neck to it. Really pretty. And the brand is Angie, which I have sold before. I think it's an Andrew brand. I might be wrong. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> but I think it's Andrew. Okay. Next is um, another free people dress. And this is like the exact same one I had before, it's just different color. It's like this greenish blue color. It's the same swing dress um, with the ruffly bottom to it. Pretty sure it's called the trapeze dress. And there is the tag, it's intimately free people. And this is also an extra small, the other one was an extra small. Okay, um, next is an altered state top. I have sold this exact top in like a grayish black color. I think I sold it for 40, so. Brie actually told me she found another one of these. Um, it's like this lace here on the front. There, it shows it better. Um, and then lace detailing throughout. It's a beautiful, beautiful top. It's like layered and everything. I'll show you the back. Um, and the brand is Altered State. And there is the tag of Altered State again. That might not show up because <laughs> there it is. Yeah. So I sold one of these before, so I love selling the same items when I know they have good value. Next is a Zara top, and I don't think I've ever been more confused by an item in my life. I'm gonna have to look this up. Um, Zara is pretty easy to look up the stock photos to figure out how it goes. Um, but here goes nothing. It's like a tank top, and then it has this like bralette attached to it. I'm assuming that goes inside. <laughs> you can see the bralette, or maybe it's a two-piece thing. I don't really understand, but it looks cute and it's new with tag. Um, Zara is also kind of hit or miss, but if it's a newer style, it's new with tag, um, then I would pick it up. And there is the tag for Zara. They do make a lot of trendy stuff. All right, we're almost done. I have a couple of shoes to show at the end too. We've been trying to get more shoes as well. Um, also shoes are really easy to photograph relative to like clothes. You just put them in, we just have a light box and put them in. All right, next is this sweater dress or it could be a tunic. It's got a high neck. It's this green sweater material. Um, it slits on the side. The brand, I've never heard of this brand before, so I'm gonna have to look this one up, is Left of Center. Sounds like an anthro brand just based on the name. They always have names like this. Uh, but I'll have to look this one up. If you know, you can leave it in the comments. Left of Center. It's really cute though on the materials. Really soft. <laughs> okay, here's that same altered state top again. She told me she was sending one, I forgot. I think she told me she was sending two of them. Um, the exact same one I had in white, and I've already sold it before in like black grayish color. This one's new with tag. It's even prettier in this purple color. The lace detailing, the ruffling at the bottom, and it is new with tag again. And there's the altered state tag. It's really hard to get it to focus on like mesh material type stuff. All right, two more clothes and then we're on to the shoes. Okay, next is another one of those free people trapeze dresses. Um, this looks like almost identical to the other one. It's got the ruffly bottoms. I think this is a this is a medium though, so this is a different size. And then here is the same dress again. 
but in a purple color. Again, this is a medium. I've sold this exact same dress in different colors for like 50 bucks or so before. So I'm excited. There's like four of those in the box. Okay, let's do some shoes. All right. So we have some Sam Edelman shoes. These are brand new. So these look like, like a suede material here. Um, and these are a size eight. These seem like they're in brand new condition. There's really not much wear to the bottom. So that's awesome. I try to sell most shoes if I find them in um, either new without tags, new condition, or like like new condition. Um, just I feel like there's more of a market for newer issues than used shoes. Personally, as a buyer, I don't really buy a lot of used shoes. I think if you get into higher end, like designer items, then yeah, sure. But uh, for just like regular stuff, I try to keep it to new or like new. Okay, these are adorable. My second favorite thing in this box. <laughs> these are Vince Camuto. Look at this print. And they're cow, 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 cow hair. So they have like the, the fur on them. Um, here is the Vince Camuto logo in the shoes. They make it so easy to find because their logo is ginormous. Um, and these look like, wow, they might be brand new. Close enough to it, there's barely anywhere. On the bottom, like the heel looks fine too. The heels only up anywhere. These are these are stinking adorable. Okay. Next is a pair of boots, um, rain boots. It's really pretty, like forest green color, and these are Michael Kors. These also look like uh, they've been worn, but they're pretty new. See the little Michael Kors logo, a little buckle detailing on them. And then they're like that rubbery rain boot material. I don't know if it's just me, but if I go to the thrift store and I'm looking at shoes, like these are obviously Michael Kors, but this is me at a thrift store. <laughs> I'm trying to see what the brand <laughs> is. It's like, oh, that's embarrassing. But sometimes you can't really tell so I just shine a flashlight <laughs> into the shoe. Okay, next, last, but definitely not least, are these phenomenal booties. <laughs> I knew these were coming. Bree sent me a picture of these a while ago just because they needed to be seen. <laughs> um, and these have really good resale value. She sent me the comps. Look at these. Look at these. These are Steve Madden. Yeah, they're Steve Madden. Look at them. <laughs> I don't know how many little rhinestones that are on these boots, but they're ridiculous. Even rhinestones up the heel. Um, these are a size seven and a half. So not my size, luckily. Not that I have a place to wear boots like this. That someone will and someone will buy these and they are fabulous. So that was my favorite thing in this box. Um, I don't know my favorite things of all time just because of how extra they are. I love it. Um, so that is it. That is everything that was in the box. Like I said, I'll have Bree's info down below if you're interested in having a source for you or buy a mystery box. Um, if you are interested in anything you saw, I'm always willing to sell through PayPal or anything, so feel free to contact me via comment, DM, Instagram, whatever, email, I'm available everywhere. Um, but that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and thank you for watching. Bye.